Uh, you know the guys that come on, hey, I'm tough, I eat pain. I, <clears throat> I'll be honest, I snack on pain. And then I go, <sighs> have a sandwich. <clears throat> oh. Hi, everybody. It's been a while. Sometimes I just make one of these because everyone's emailing me saying, hey, are you okay? I mean, are you doing anything or have you stopped? Well, as I've said in previous one, I haven't stopped, but and look, I'll make something here. Um, during World War II, Winston Churchill, Prime Minister of Great Britain, went out to dinner. Very nice meal. Look at, look at these. He went out to, look at this. It's been so rainy here. Beautiful. Look at, look at how tall. Look at this one. Wow. <clears throat> anyway, he went out to dinner. Had, I'm sure, a nice meal, but had a pudding for dessert. He was served a pudding, and he sent it back to the kitchen. Unacceptable. Well, the chef came out, <laughs> wondering what was wrong with the pudding. Winston Churchill said, it has no theme. It doesn't know what it is. So uh, welcome to a fine, fine pudding. I've done so many vlogs that I've, I've never seen the light of day that have been deleted. I did uh, old bike ones because, oh, it must be exciting. You put the camera on and have the bike going down. But ultimately, uh, I've done, I did a vlog once. It was just me. I was talking about Hollywood history. They shot the Great Race in here. They shot Captain Blood here. They shot Bonanza. Kung Fu. Sound stages are boring. So, um, so here we go. Look at this prickly pear cactus. First of all, the size. Take a look at this. The sun is out. Burn off the haze. This, look at this, look at this. I love this casita. I moved to Hollywood right here in 1981, a couple blocks from Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, I've come here for a cast and crew party for the Patrick Starr Show, SpongeBob, all that stuff that's being held very close to here. But I beat the traffic. So I got up here and I'm just walking down Hollywood Boulevard. I used to walk Hollywood Boulevard every day and worry about, am I, do I have the right headshot? Have I gotten the headshot copied? Is it, what's happening in television? Should I be auditioning for that movie? Oh, I wish I had an agent. Oh, I wish I had a better agent. Oh, I wish I had a manager. Oh, I wish I had a better manager. Oh, I wish I was so famous that I didn't need an agent or a manager. Carney's on Sunset. We used to eat here all the time. You're not Biff Tannen, are you? No, I'm not. No. <laughs> okay. Because you know why? Why? Because movies are pretend. <laughs> uh, I'm an actor, but no. Did you play Biff? Uh, I did it in, in a movie, yes. You did in a movie? Yes. It's great to meet you. Several I'm a movies. huge, huge fan. I'm a physically large fan of yours. <laughs> the Source Natural Food Restaurant that was here for many, many years. It was actually, uh, it, it was in the movie Annie Hall. Woody Allen and Tony Roberts have a meal right here. My friend Gary Mule Deer is in that scene also with big, big hair. <laughs> Gary, Gary's in Annie Hall. Gary was uh, Steve Martin's roommate at the time. Anyway, the source was here for many, many years, and now it's not. It was run by uh, one of those kind of natural foods, you know, families. The guy, you know, had 30 wives and they got in trouble with the government. So, something, allegedly, allegedly. It was the World Series and the Dodgers were playing. I was on stage and they had just built this bar here. They just built this whole thing with a TV up there and they had the Dodger game going on and this place was packed watching the Dodgers. I was on stage, the stage is right there through this window. 
and I'm on stage and I just hear this huge wow. Everyone's going crazy banging on the glass. I'm at the edge of the stage, what happened, what happened? And that's when Kirk Gibson hit that historic World Series home run. Ran the bases, pumping his fist. I missed it because I was performing. Wait a minute, I'm still there. I'm, st I'm still there. I thought, wait, 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 where's my name? I'm still there. I lived in this house here with Andrew Clay, Yakov Smirnov, a guy named Mark King, who was a brilliant comedian, but quit. I always admired the guys who worked for a while here and then said, this place is full of slime balls, and they leave. Mark did that along with my friend Mike Schofling, who became a carpenter in uh, Pennsylvania. Hi, Mike. But uh, Dice was born here. Dice, I came home three in the morning from stand-up, come down into the dining room. Andrew has one of those three ring binders with loose leaf. He goes, Tommy, got an idea. Dice. Go, what do you mean, Andy? What? Dice. That's the idea? Yeah. Character. Dice. And he starts drawing dice on everything he owns, on the three ring binder, everything. You gotta give him, hey, he took the dice thing, he had a ring made that said dice on it, he just, he got dice for the rear view mirror, the dice. I thought, well, that's a pretty good hook for a comic. Maybe that'll work out on the road or whatever. Kaboom! Twiggy. Twiggy, 60s modeling icon, Twiggy, big round glasses. She lived up there. And Rod Stewart's drummer. And Rod Stewart's drummer. Everybody lived there. Twiggy's husband was, uh, he was an unusual cat. He, he uh, I don't know if it was substance abuse, madness. He came down once, he pulled a piece of wrought iron from one of the fence, one of the railings up there. See the railing? And he comes down and he's just swinging, he's just bashing in car windshields down here. I come out of the house, hey, knock it off. He's like, what? What are you going to do? He's, he starts swinging this wrought iron piece of fence at me. Well, I'm, look, I wouldn't do it today. But I was 22, so I ran in, I got a nunchucks. And, <laughs> and Hollywood, I don't know, me and Twiggy's husband were like... We were swinging here. I didn't hit. I didn't hit him. I was just trying to make him stop, and he stopped. The house was owned by Ciro's before the Comedy Store, big '40s nightclub. You know, what tuxedos? Ta -ta 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 you know, Orson Welles, Clark Gable, and it was the, like a gambling house. The mob ran it, and this house here, over here, they paid the guy. They paid the guy who owned the house to let a guy just sit right there and have a phone. And if cops came up the hill or anybody, he would call the house and they would break up the card game. But yeah, everybody played poker at that house. I mean, Frank Sinatra and, you know, all the guys. We gotta get out before the cops come. People coming to get, people, there's Doug. There's Doug, people coming together in life. It's good, it's good. Hey, 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 oh my god. Oh, wow. uh, it's been a good time, huh? Fantastic. It's one of the greatest things to be part of SpongeBob, to be part of the Patrick Star Show. It's, uh, it's fantastic. All these people are friendly and fantastic. And, and artists who are at the top of their game who approach it with such professionalism and intensity, it's just inspiring. I mean, what a thing to be part of. Thanks, Patrick. It's Pennsylvania. So on this site in 1861, Julius Sturgis established the first pretzel bakery in the New World. <sighs> Thanks, Julius. <laughs> The bakers are much smaller than they, well. Do you want a pretzel? Do you want a pretzel? Do I want a pretzel? How do you not weigh 1,800 pounds? Uh, it's hard. It's right out of the oven. I 
I'm going back and buying another one. <coughs> we don't scrimp on our town clocks. And we don't scrimp on our chocolate. It's a chocolate and caramel covered Oreo cookie. Holy mackerel. Oh. Is it, are you having yours? Yes. It's Is amazing. It good? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gonna fly now. Yeah. Flying high now. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks? Alright. One arm push ups. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> my parents used to take me here. This is where I fell in love with painting. Ow. My family's Irish for generation after generation. Irish laborers. Sweet Caroline, my wife, goes into the ancestry online I actually am related to Pennsylvania Dutch in this part of the state, including, God bless her, this lady right here, Katarina Hersheroth. Are we figuring out how many greats? It's seven greats. She's my great, 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 great aunt. Born 1743, died 1827. She came here with her husband and they built this church. I had no idea. This is dynamic. How you doing, champ? What's How up, doing? buddy? How you doing? Did you miss me? I did. Do you still have this, the uh, the glove that I signed? <laughs> Dude, you wait till I'm groggy, and then hey, will you sign my glove? Good. That is good. I thank you, God, for most this amazing day, for the leaping greenly spirits of trees and a blue true dream of sky and for everything that is natural, that is infinite, that is yes. I who have died am alive again today. And this is the sun's birthday. This is the birthday of life and love and wings and of the gay great happening, illimitably earth. How should tasting, touching, hearing, seeing, breathing, any lifted from the no of all nothing human merely being doubt unimaginable you now the ears of my ears awake and the eyes of my eyes are open <laughs> <laughs>